Welcome to another installment of Property Vlogs. Today I'm so excited to show you this house. This is The Fur and The Fur is a fantastic house by Carla Holmes. We are at Finchwood Park which is a gorgeous development in Finchhampstead in Berkshire. This is not far from Wokingham as well and that's got great connectivity to London which is just a train ride away and yes what are we looking at we are looking at a three bedroom two bathroom property the approximate size of the fur is 1089 square feet and then all the other details such as pricing availability is going to pop up on the screen like that using editing magic and then yeah let's get straight into it so as you can see you've got a sizable front garden you've got this gorgeous black estate railing fencing which suits the countryside location we are in a very scenic place which kind of adds a lot of peace peace and tranquility um, there's a lot of forest around here a lot of trails as well and then going back to the house let's talk about the facade of the house we've got your porch canopy over here striking black door to the front really drawing your attention to that you've got cladding to the top half gable there and then brick to the bottom half red brick with a really nice mix with some dark tones light tones all around you've got block pavers as well which lead you to the front door so let's go straight into the top so come inside and welcome Welcome home. Gosh, when you have a house like this at all, you're always excited to say that. Well, I am, I'm always excited. So first impressions, we're in the hallway. We've got the gorgeous Antico flooring throughout. We've got our front door here with the glaze panel in the middle, bringing in light into this hallway. We've also got our letterbox and our chrome iron on gray. First room on our right is gonna be our downstairs toilet. Wow, so that gorgeous flooring goes all the way in. And I've just noticed also they've continued this upstand detail. I love that. That's something I've noticed Carla Holmes is doing. And I really love that touch because um, wood wouldn't be appropriate and the tile just fits this setting of it being a wet room. So we've got your hidden system toilet here by Rocker. And then you've got your window facing the front and it's frosted, so it's private. And then you've got a sink on the opposite side as well. Lovely, two-piece suite, should I say. So that's your downstairs toilet. Back in the hallway, we've got a radiator, just mentioning that, so this is a nice and warm hallway. We've got a staircase to the first floor over here, and then I just wanna show you this door. This is your cloakroom, so it's like your understair storage space. It's got your consumer unit slash fuse board, security system, and then it's got a light, which makes it a really nice and functional space and it's not dark and dingy. And then room number one on the ground floor is this room. Wow, okay, so the staging in here, you've got a huge, 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 huge table there. And then you've got your TV there, so focal point is over there. But again, you could put the focal point over here. It's a rectangular footprint and this room is actually very large very large i don't think the camera will do it justice but there is sufficient space you could have definitely put a coffee table right in the middle as well and then you've got your window face in the front as well you can just see by the enormous furniture pieces how big the room is so here we've got the radiator under the window we've got like i said the focal point is optional and it's a fantastic size for your first family lounge, your first room, and where your guests will be welcomed into. The next room is over here. This is your open plan kitchen, snug living room, dining room, and it is really, really quirky. Really, really nicely designed. Let's go straight into the first space that's catching my attention. Why do I say it's nicely designed? The kitchen is actually designed like in its own zone. So it's actually got the breakfast bar, which kind of separates it from the dining area. So that's a really nice subtle division between you know, the kitchen space and the eating space, which you are in. Looking at the kitchen, this is our fridge freezer. Oh, I love these handles. These are really cool. I've not seen these before. Brush chrome. So like I said, this is our fridge and that's our freezer, 70-30 arrangement. The cupboard doors are done in a shaker style in a really beautiful baby blue color and everything is on soft closers and it's a two-toned cabinetry so blue on the outside white on the inside you've got these 
details underneath the kitchen cabinets, the wall mounted units, and these stone worktops are just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And they've added that extra detail there. Again, I wanted to mention, I love the fact that developers are doing USB sockets. We've got both USB-Cs and USB 2.0s as well. And then we've got over here, our induction hub here by hub with four heat sources, extract fan also by hub. And then that same quality uh, material used as a splashback. Either side of the splashback, we've got wall mounted units again, just lots and lots of storage. And then the boiler here, Logic Combi ESP1 35. And then you've got below integrated hob oven by Bosch as well here. Storage either side. Let's find the dishwasher. It's going to be by the sink. It's logical place to put it and that's by Indesit in this development. Again you've got the fabricated grooves into this worktop, the worktop continues as an upstand and then forms the windowsill and you have a window in front of your sink. Your sink is one and a half ball and then you've got your mixer tap in a beautiful polished chrome. Yeah, I love that. Now let's go into the dining area. So here we've got the dining area. It's been staged this way. Again, you don't have to have this in here. If you don't want to, you can have this whole space as a living area or this whole space as a dining room. It is such a versatile space. We've got a radiator behind the wall. Again, you've got a, what looks to me to be a six or four seater table over here. And then here you've got a kind of a pop out extension it looks like an extension, but it's actually integrated into the house, a pop out part of the house where they've staged it as like a little snug. I would put a TV here and you have, if you, if you have small children, they could play in this area whilst you're cooking. You can watch, keep an eye on them. And then you've got a window looking over the side and then these double doors facing the rear garden. So it's a dual aspect space. So let's go and do our garden tour straight away. So coming out of this door, you're now in your garden. It's a great size. You've got paving, lawn, and it's enhanced with all of the plants, shrubbery, that shed over there, the seating over there, trees. So those are bonuses. In your house, you're going to have the paving for sure and then the lawn. And then you can see how the house, the rear of the house, we've got the pop out that I was talking about earlier. And then you've got the other side of the house over there and your timber fence for coming into the garden. Let's go back into the house again, popping out, pointing out <laughs> details such as that, which is this roof light and then the spotlights in the ceiling, which I'm going to turn on. Wow. Okay. And then there was a vault to that ceiling as well, which I didn't mention, but that's another extra feature just to note. And now let's go to the first floor. Now let's go into the first room on the first floor, which is this room. It's a single bedroom. It stays as a single bedroom, but again, it could be a home office, a study or a nursery. And you could, we do the furniture arrangement in the way they've done it. Dresser could go here or a wardrobe, or you can put the wardrobe here actually. You've got window facing your back garden, and from this room, you can actually see the pop out shape that we saw on the ground floor. The next room, I'm just going to scoot around. There's a lot of scooting around. This is your star cupboard. Great linen store, Christmas decorations, and of course, you can put a light in that. That would be my recommendation. And then going this way, let's look at bedroom number two. It's a fantastic size with views of the garden at the back. And then your wardrobe would be on this wall over here. And I think that's a really good proportion. Coming back into the hallway, let's go into this room, which is the family bathroom. Look at this, guys. It's a really good size. It is a three-piece suite. So we've got the toilet sink and the shower and we've got that gorgeous shelf there. You've also got the shower over the bathtub and a window. And then there's also a towel rail behind the door. And I just want to pop out into the corridor and actually just admire the architraves and just that door combination again. And then the next room is going to be the primary bedroom. Primary bedroom has a gorgeous gorgeous um oversized headboard and bed and bedside tables but that's staging but it just goes to show you how nice the proportions are 
you've got in this bedroom room at the foot of the bed to have a dresser maybe a tv above it if you want to but let me show you this guys so to this side we've actually got the fitted wardrobes and it's a really good size and it doesn't eat into the space in the room at all i really like that and then let me just go around over here and i'm now going to show you the ensuite round and i'll show you so the ensuite has a window which is great bringing lots of natural light you've got the shelf the details the same quality fittings we saw in the rest of the house but the toilet the sink and the shower there with the sliding door gorgeous tiles and you've got the shaver socket there and yeah that pretty much is the ensuite so thank you so much for watching the video i hope you saw something you liked please subscribe so you get notified when our next video pops up and click on one of these videos guys and we'll see you next time bye